Today we will be doing 12-4, volume of prisms and cylinders. This is from the McGraw-Hill Geometry Textbook. The equation for volume of a prism is volume equals the area of the base times the height of the prism. So we're going to be focusing on this equation. Okay. So area of the base, we're going to have triangles again, we're going to have squares, we're going to have trapezoids, etc. So volume equals area of the base times height. So we'll get into question number one. Now I have an option here of what to call my base. So remember that the base for a prism, it has to have two bases. So on this one, I'll just go ahead and call the bottom my base. And the reason I chose the bottom is because I see my base times height right there. It is a square. This is actually a cube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out the area of the base first. The area of the base is little b times h. That stands for the base of the base times the height. Well, the area of the bottom square is equal to 8 times 8. The area of the base is equal to 64. And it is feet squared, but we'll do the labeling at, on our actual answer, okay? So if the area of the base is 64, and the height of this cube is 8, the volume equals the 64 times 8. Volume equals 512 feet cubed. No longer are we doing feet squared for area. So when we talk about feet squared, units squared, we know it's area. When we're talking about volume, it's cubed. We know that's something like filling up a cube. If I wanted to fill up a can, not just on the outside, but I actually want to fill it up with something. Okay, and that's my answer. Question number two, we get into a triangular prism. The area of a triangle base. So I'm going to highlight the base. And this one I had to choose a triangle. Okay. They're across from each other and they're connected. The area of a triangle is one half base times height. Well, we kind of got lucky in this picture. It actually already gave us the base and the height of the triangle. So for this triangle, my base is 3, my height is 1.5. So my base, when I multiply them, is 2.25. So not to find volume, I take the area of the base and I multiply it by the height. So there's your equation right there. So volume equals area of the base times the height of the prism. So volume equals 9 centimeters cubed. For question number three, another triangular prism. And the reason we're doing two of them, this one didn't give us the base and the height of the triangle, but it showed us that it was a 30 degree angle. So I can do trig functions or special rights. We've decided that we kind of prefer special rights over trig functions. So I know that my hypotenuse is 12. Because they match each other on both sides. So I need to know what's across from the 30 and what's adjacent to the 30. So if that's 30 and 90, I know this is 60. So for special rights... If I have a 30, a 60, and a 90, I have x, x square root of 3, and I have 2x. Right now, I know that the hypotenuse is 12. So 2x equals 12, x equals 6, and this equals 6 square root of 3. So across from the 30 is 6. Across from the 60 is 6 square roots of 3. Okay. So 
So now I can do one half base times height. Okay. So the area of the base, it's a triangle, one half base times height. The area of my base is equal to, I'm going to put 18 square roots of 3. All I did was do half of 6 times 6. And I left it like that so we don't round to the last step. You could give me a decimal here. Um, just your last answer would be off by a little bit. You know, we won't, you know, on a check test, we're not going to give you something where you'll get it wrong like that. So I would leave this 18 square roots of 3 to find the volume. Volume equals area of the base times the height of the prism. The area of the base was 18 square roots of 3. The height of the prism is 15. Multiplying those, I get 467.7 feet cubed. Question number four, it's slanted. It's an oblique shape. It doesn't change. The formula doesn't change. Nothing changes. The formula is still for volume. Area of the base times the height. So the base, I have to do the front and back. I can't do top and bottom because I, I don't have enough. So if I chose this and this back here, those are my bases. Well, how do I find the area of the base? Well, it's a parallelogram. Parallelogram is still base times height. So the base is still equal to little b times h. The base of that is 10 times 12. Because I'm looking at this piece right here times how tall it is. And it didn't matter that it was inside or outside. It's still the same height. Okay? So the area of my base is equal to 120. Now I'm going to multiply it by my height. 120 times 15. The volume of this shape is 1,800 feet cubed. The last question on the front that we're going to go to then is question number five. Question number five is a trap trapezoidal prism. So we need to find the area of the trapezoid. We should know by now that the area of a trapezoid is equal to one half the height, base one plus base two. So I'm just looking at the trapezoid. The area of that trapezoid, the height of the trapezoid, 1.5. The bases of the trapezoid, two and four. Add them and multiply. The area of that trapezoid is 4.5. So now volume of the trapezoid you take its base times height. So volume equals 4.5. The height of the prism was 6. The volume of this trapezoidal prism is 27 centimeters cubed. Now we're going to move on to volume of a cylinder. For a cylinder, I still want to know my area of the base, and I'm going to multiply it by the height. So I can break it up into two pieces, but I can also just do it all in one. So pi r squared, area of the base, times the height. So all I need for this problem is radius and height. My radius is 2. My height is 1. Plug them into the equation. The volume of this cylinder is pi times 2 squared times 1. And it says round to the tenths place, so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to leave it in terms of pi. 
it's 12.6 feet cubed. Now I'll go ahead and leave that up there. I'll just scroll down to number four first. Again, all I need is radius and height. Well, I see that across the whole circle is 20, so I'm looking for radius. 20 divided by 2 is my radius because I only want half of it. So from here to here, it's 10, and my height is 20. Volume equals area of the base times the height. So volume equals pi times 10 squared times 20. The volume of this cylinder equals 6,283.2 feet cubed. We'll do a couple more questions, so we'll move this on over. Again, we have a cylinder that looks slanted. It doesn't change anything, okay? Volume still equals pi r squared times h. The radius of this circle is 1.5. The height of this prism is 12. And all we're going to do is plug them into the equation. So volume equals pi times radius squared times the height. When I multiply them, I get 84.8 feet cubed. And the last one we need to, we'll do together is one that it didn't give us the radius of the circle and it didn't give us the diameter either but it drew a right triangle. So I need to find out, and actually it gave me diameter, diameter is 10. It didn't give me the height of the prism. Okay. So I'm looking for this piece right here. I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem to find the missing leg, okay? So A squared plus B squared equals C squared, but I'm looking for a leg. So I'm going to call B, I'm going to call it H, the height stands for. When you're looking for a leg, we're going to subtract hypotenuse squared minus leg squared and take the square root. So the height of this shape is actually equal to 8.3. So this height is 8.3. Now I can plug the numbers into my equation. I have 8.3 is the height, and my radius is going to be half of the 10. The whole thing's 10, my radius is equal to five. Volume equals pi r squared times my height. The volume of this cylinder is 651.9 centimeters cubed. Okay. That's it for volumes of prisms and cylinders. You know, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe to this channel, and hopefully it helps you with your geometry journey.